This is the fifth tutorial in the series of how to make your own drone software. We are trying to build a software which is at its peak and uh, offer you the best uh, experience when you are flying it. Uh, so in a Taylor Pilot's uh, application on iOS, you have only two or three different modes. For example, you have the speed performance mode or you have a normal or medium mode, right? So these are very fixed speeds. So let's it might be 50 or it might be 100, right? However, when you are building your own application, you want the ability to control the speed to every minute scale, right? So you should be able to change it to 56 or even 57 or 58. And so that you have a much more granular control on your drone. All right, so in this video, we are going to learn that uh, we have also released one more video uh, where we are showing and displaying our application uh, that we have built for the Tello. So please make sure that you check it out. As you can see, there are a bunch of uh, AI features we have uh, offering in those application. Uh, of course, I mean, we are going to, to cover all these uh, new features in this tutorial too so hang tight and uh, yeah it's going to be an awesome journey and if you have made so far just give a thumbs up to the video and subscribe to the channel it definitely helps us out and this is where we left off last time so we had like a key down method where it checks when the key was pressed and it updates the speed and if the key was pressed up then we need to change back the speed to the normal zero and then we send commands to the drone and then we have a run a function which is called from the main and we have an infinite while loop in this part of the loop we update the pi game display screen uh, from the frame which we are receiving from the drone right so this is a frame uh, and we add some text to it and then we do some manipulation and then we add it to the screen where screen if you see on the top is declared as a pi game display screen which not only accepts the inputs from your keyboard but also display you the drone feed all right sounds good let's first create a new file let's name this drone software part 4 or py sounds good right copy this particular file create a new file all right and from here we want to create a new uh, function so I want to shift this processing of a function into oh, sorry processing of a frame into a new function because this for loop is quite big right and we also want the ability to save the videos and the photos from the uh, drone uh, in a later stage right so let's create a new function function named def frame processing self frame and then over here i'm going to shift all the code from here to the pygame surface over here right fix the indentation return frame all right and then over here Let's say I'm going to say self dot frame processing, and if we, we call this self frame, frame processing, and uh, we get a new frame, and then we fit on the screen. Sounds good. All right. Now let's fix the speed. So speed is declared globally right now, and you cannot change. I mean, you can change it, but there's a better way to change it. So let's convert this to a class variable. I'm gonna actually take this and do self dot s uh, convert in all the places where speed is used as a class variable. So use self, 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 and self. I guess these are the only places where we have used the speed, right? So what you're gonna do is that let's say you are uh, flying a drone, right, and then you want to increase or decrease the speed. So right now the drone speed is set as 60 and so it's going to fly at a speed of 60 throughout the flight let's say you want to have the drone speed increase to 100 so you press key a bunch of times and it will increase the speed to 100 and let's say if you want to decrease the speed you uh, press the decrease button and it will decrease it to uh, 0 or 10 right so to do that what we can do is that let's say we accept as 
Q to decrease the speed and then you can say self dot s minus 10 so I'm going to decrease the speed uh, with a uh, with a with a bracket of 10 and you can use any bracket that you like but keep in mind you need to press the button that many times all right so if you press Q it's gonna decrease the speed by 10 if you press E it's gonna increase the speed by 10. from here you only want to uh, you want to have an if condition where you increase or decrease the speed only after a certain amount of time because the minimum speed can be zero right uh, ideally so you can say okay I only want to decrease the speed if it's more than 10 right and over here you can say I only want to sorry I only want to decrease the speed when it's more than 10 I only want to increase the speed when it's uh, less than uh, 90 right all right. I hope this much amount of code makes sense. Not too difficult. Quite easy. All right. And now let's connect our drone and uh, let's try to see how it performs. Right. Uh, you know what we can also do? We can also show the speed on the uh, on the video frame. So what you can do is that you can over here app slash n and you can say don't speed right and then over here you can take self.s and you will also keep this hmm how about this looks good i'm going to also change this position to let's say 580 on our video feed all right so we are also seeing the drone speed on the uh, video now on our, on our frames now all right now let's connect the drone all right ladies and gentlemen time to fly our drone so make sure your drone is connected it's connected python drone software part 4.py and our drone is connected Hello in sense was initialized, stream off, stream on, it's okay. And we have success. All right, so we have the battery 87%, the height is zero centimeter. The height is always measured from uh, the current location where you're drawn. I mean, let's say when you start a flight and it's on a table right now and it will be zero. So even if you go down, I think it will go minus because the height has actually reduced from your initial start of position. So keep that in mind going forward. Uh, see, so let's say I have this height. I mean, I'm going to take it down. So it's minus now, right? That's because your initial frame of reference, it went down below that. Now, if you take it this up, it's going to go up. Uh, all right. It's not about, oh, 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 up. Oh, all right. Yeah, it's not the best drone. All right, uh, so let's try flying. The drone speed is somewhere around 60 right now. So we discussed that if we do E, it's gonna increase the speed. If we do Q, it's gonna decrease the speed. So let's do an E, and it increases the speed, that's 70. Let's do Q, and it decreases. Let's do again Q, and it's 50, ladies and gentlemen. That's amazing, we just did that. Now let's see how it actually flies. Uh, to fly the drone, we know we have to do a T, T for takeoff. So, I guess the number of frames that we are trying to process every second was well, that was a lot, right? So, I'm re trying to reduce it from 120 to 80. All right. So, what will happen is that we sleep over here, right? You see, we sleep, we sleep over here for X amount of time, right? So, earlier this was 120. Right. So, for example, let's say one by ten is like we proceed for zero point one seconds, right? Uh, and if I make it thousand, then it's going to hundred. It's going to sleep for zero point zero zero one. So that's less amount of time, right? So the lesser the number of frames, the more time to to sleep for, the less number of times our Pi game will be updated, right? So I guess the disturbance is due to the fact that we are trying to update the Pygrim window every uh, at a high speed. So from 120, I'm going to change this to, hold on. 
so when from 120 I'm going to change this to 80 all right let's see what happens I haven't tested it yet so my drone is connected da, da, da. all right we have 89 percent battery the height is this with the pictures the drone speed is 60 and let's take ah, it's still still rendering you know what let's try to put, reduce this to 50 yeah so 50 is fine hmm So it was because of the frames that one was having an issue. Now you see that? Okay, let's try to decrease the speed. Uh, so to increase the speed, the drone speed is already at 80. It increases it at 90, 100. It has top speed now. And now let's try to decrease the speed with Q. The speed is like 10. And I'm pressing it hard on the button and it's barely moving forward. Like, okay, let's try to increase that 20. You see, now it's going So you see, as I'm increasing the speed, it's going back at the faster speed. Now I'm going to decrease the speed again, right? So decrease by Q, and then you will see that it will come fast and it will slow down. Okay.